This is not financial advice. It's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff so you can visit. I put them out, see them things, see them analyzing that data. Listen, I did a video this morning based on what Adam Aaron said in that interview. And I didn't actually watch the interview. I just listened to it. And I just listened to the interview. But then, after I did the video this morning, I listened to Al from Boston. So then I went back and looked at the video. I actually looked at the video. And I looked at his body language. And I have to agree with Al from Boston. Based on my law enforcement experience, based on my private investigation experience, based on my law degree experience, I come to the same conclusion as Al from Boston. His body language was deceptive. It, it, it was. And he tried to kind of control the conversation and change the subject. But everybody knows that Mr. Later is really a conflict of interest. His, his daughter is with Uniswap and, you know, the eight quadrillion AMC tokens that more than likely the bad actors were using as false locates to keep manipulating the price of AMC. The bottom line is this. I don't believe, and this is just my opinion, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. You need to do your own DD and form, own DD and form your own opinion. But I don't believe Adam Aaron is being fully transparent on Philip Lader's role with Morgan Stanley, Uniswap, and Tara, and, and, and AMC. I believe that it's a conflict of interest, and I believe it it's not the best thing for retail investors. It's not the best thing for retail investors. And once again, I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. I'm not telling you to vote yes. I'm not telling you to vote no. You have to do your DD and come to your own conclusion. What I'm telling you is this. Alpha Boston said that his body language appeared deceptive and it seems like he wasn't telling the whole truth about Phillips' latest role. And I have to agree with Al from Boston, based on my experience as a Marine chaser, based on my experience as a retired law enforcement officer, based on my experience with a law degree, based on my experience as a licensed private investigator, based on my experience as a financial fraud investigator. I have to agree that Adam Aaron's body language, Adam Aaron's response to the question was deceptive anyway please leave some comments tell me what you think do you think that phil later question to adam aaron do you think his answer was clear and concise or do you think it was deceptive anyway have a great day god bless and i appreciate y'all on this journey with me